Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel and today I wanted to go back and try the bamboo fire saw again. It's a very easy form of friction fire and as usual I want to promote that everybody watching this video change their ETC to include a wallet for nail lens, keychain ferro rod, and a bick. These are three items that I carry with me all the time, every day. And I think it's just a smart thing to do to, to uh, add this to your EDC. So let's get started on the bamboo fire saw. You're going to need three components. I'm going to have to scrape up a bird's nest with the spine of my knife. I'll be using the old hickory today. This is the old hickory that John Caps made me. There's his logo. The sheath and the ferro rod. Yeah, I could use the ferro rod and go straight to the fire, but uh, making fires and finding different techniques to make fire is my hobby. I'm not trying to give survival advice. So, the three components we'll need is to scrape up a bird's nest, uh, a top board, and a bottom board. So, let's get started. Now, I learned how to do the bamboo fire saw from Paleo Man, and I'll have a link to his channel in the description. You never want to scrimp on the size of your bird's nest. You always want plenty of material. Now, the conventional way to do the little tender bundle that goes inside the top board is to have a ball on one side, a ball on the other side, put the two balls together and put a little piece of bamboo across them to uh, hold it in there. But what I like to do is to have a connected set of bundles like this and that's what I'll set in my top board. You'll see what I'm talking about as we get further along. And I think I want to I think I want to make up a even some more scrapings to have those in reserve because when I catch the ember and start blowing it to try to get it uh, to ignite this tinder bundle I think I'm going to take a, put some more on top of it and just use this for my bird's nest for my tender bundle. Usually what I've been doing is getting the ember, getting it established in here, and then putting this in some straw or some pine needles or some poplar bark. But uh, we should be able to get this to ignite the flames. So let me scrape up a little bit more. All right, so we are good on tinder muddle. Let's move to the top board now. I'll show you how to make it. Let's see how it splits now. Good. And this is what I'll use for my top board. So, I'm going to set you back up on the other side. Now, we're going to take the point of the knife and bore uh, all the way through the board 
and at the same time I'll be making a little round chamfer on this side which helps the dust collect up onto this side. So let me show you that. And there's our little hole where we come through. Now, you simply uh, make a notch on both sides of that. That's where our bottom board, the edge of our bottom board is going to ride right in this notch that we're making. Alright, there's our top board. And now, this is a little bit long for my board that goes up against the tree, the bottom board. Yeah. I need to cut this down to about two sections. So I'm going to cut it off right here. And this edge, we will make about the thickness of a butter knife. Maybe I can do it left-handed. Let's try it left-handed. Good. Now let me show you the three components. We've got the top board. We've got the tender bundle that goes right in here, connected by that center piece, right across the hole. And I hold those with my thumb. And it's going to ride on this board right here. And it's going to ride right here. So, I still need to get a little bit of this off right here. Alright, let's get set up at the tree, and I'll show you what, what we'll do next. Now, I like to do about, it just turns out this way. I like to warm it up for about 80 strokes. I actually start seeing some smoke at about uh, 60 to 70 strokes but after about 80 strokes when it's a lot of smoke rolling off of there there'll be a certain section of this that has blackened and charred whether it's here or here or here whatever when I start increasing my speed then I'm only concentrating on that charred area so I just want to let you know what will be going on uh, we're ready to get set up at the tree I'll reset the tripod up and turn you back All right, on. I found a good spot on the tree and of course we want to orient the butter knife side, the butter knife edge side, up. And I also like to take my knife and sort of 
support it right here. Because it's the worst time in the world for this to slip out on you. When you're making them last few strokes, fast and furious, for this to slip out on you and then you lose all your heat. So, I like to lock it in place with that knife. Alright, we are ready to go. Let's give it a try. All right, it's on the verge of flaming up. Let's set you back up at the table. Well, I'm running out of, well, I got enough ember there. Let me go get the uh, pine needles. I didn't think I'd need them, but apparently I will. Got a little singe on my hair that time. Having to improvise, as usual. All right, y'all, I guess you can see how easy the bamboo fire saw is. Uh, it's a great technique. It's one of my favorites. All right, y'all, thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.